I'm from uh, Evansville, grew up here, went to uh, East Side grade schools, and then finally went to Memorial High School and uh, graduated from there in uh, 1958. I went from there to uh, Purdue University and studied uh, mechanical engineering and uh, immediately upon graduation went right into uh, business graduate school and got an MBA. Then I got orders to go to uh, Vietnam and uh, I shipped out there for a year while my wife uh, returned back to uh, Evansville. After that uh, tour was over and I returned, my wife Mary Kay and I went out to dinner with uh, her brother, Bob uh, Cook and uh, Cindy to celebrate uh, my returning. And Bob asked me uh, what I was gonna do now. And he said, well, why don't you uh, come to work for me? I said, well, uh, uh, maybe, what do you do? Uh, after talking with Bob about it, and uh, he and I had a, a, a lot of common backgrounds and educations and similar age, so uh, I decided to do that, uh, to go to work. Uh, for Bob. So I went to work for him as, as the uh, manager of engineering. Now that's a bigger title than uh, the job actually. There may have been three of us in the engineering department. And, uh, but uh, it, it was great experience. Uh, we were able to work hands-on uh, developing new products and, and processes and able to spend time uh, down on the shop floor working out problems and issues and out in the customers' plants. Uh, trying to make those new products work. We developed one new product that was very successful and uh, Bob's dad decided to transfer that product over to a bigger division, what was called the George Cook Sons uh, Industrial Division, and he decided to transfer me with it. it. It was a very challenging and interesting business. Every customer requirement was unique and, and uh, different and had to be customized and tailored and, the challenge was to listen to the customer and understand what they need, what they want, and then actually design and produce something that, that uh, satisfied that. I think my uh, whatever management philosophy has probably changed over the years. In the early years, I was all about uh, technology and business and engineering and production and, and uh, nose to the grindstone kind of uh, attitude. I suppose that comes with my uh, Southern Indiana German background. But I think today I've come to realize that really it's all about people. And, and uh, if you can create an environment where uh, capable, creative people are free to do things and try things, uh, those companies will grow and prosper far better than the ones where it's the old uh, nose to the grindstone uh, culture. I think another thing that's evolved in my mind over the years has been uh, my appreciation uh, for my family. My wife, Mary Kay, just did a great job taking care of our five children, seeing that they were involved in, in all kinds of activities, and helping grow them into the very successful people that they are today. Our five wonderful children uh, have between them now seven grandchildren with one more on the way and just enjoying it uh, like I didn't imagine I could. As a young person, you're trying to decide what to do in life you should do what you like because every career will be full of problems and bad days and if you don't really basically like what you're doing those days will be tough to deal with but if at the core of it you really like it you can deal with those days and, and uh, get your satisfaction out of the days when it's successful and going well I think the Junior Achievement Program is a great program. It, it probably does a lot of the things on a more organized fashion and, and a more um, skilled, directed fashion that my father and mother did for me. Uh, and, and it reaches uh, probably a broader base of children who may not have that guidance from their mother and father but can find it and get it in, uh, in the Junior Achievement Programs. One of the really important aspects of the Junior Achievement Program also is the fact that they get 
contact with and, and uh, advice from and, and uh, work with business leaders. And so it's not a teacher in a classroom who's uh, saying this, it's somebody who's out there living it, doing it, uh, making mistakes, uh, recovering and, and succeeding. And I think when they t tell a young person what it takes and, and what it's like out there, it's so much more believable. And so I would encourage uh, people looking for community involvement to consider being a an, an leader or a teacher or an instructor with the Junior Achievement Program.